the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> Can you do that while I talk about my new special coming up? <laughs> <laughs> paper Tiger. Speaking of animals, why'd you come yeah. up with the, why Paper Tiger? Because uh, I just think we're in a hilarious time. Because you already took strange time. I have to stop saying, like I, I, like the amount of times I had to stop saying, it's, it's a weird time. It's, it's just the name of Joe's special. Because it just is. Like what we're focusing on. I'm like, oh my God, can you fucking believe this? While this real, like half the shit that's going on, if, if, if it's true, is like you could make a Will Smith or a T- Tom Cruise movie, one of those end of the world movies where yeah. they accept, you know, it's not going to have a happy ending. And it's just like, it just kind of strikes me, I don't know. And it was also, I just, I wanted people to watch it and have fun. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not trying to fucking hurt anybody. It's not malicious. But yeah. I, I'm doing my job. I'm talking about what's in the news, and I'm fucking around. And it's part that, and then the other part is just me talking about my flaws, my temper, and trying to work that shit out. That's all this fucking thing is. And for some reason, um, not just saying stand-up, just a lot of shit that is not, as far as like if you had priorities, you know? Like if your house just burnt down, you're not being like, God, we, we have to get a new toaster, you know, it's like, no, we need shelter. Like, that's right. the number one thing. But there's all this shit that's like, you know, a, li- a line of importance, like line 42 is is getting gassed up to like number seven or number eight or something like that. And I already know people are going to be like, you know, typical white male because you can't like all of that shit. You know, th- th- there's just something funny about how overtly, uh, I don't know, I guess um, reversed like. It's like you're doing the same fucking thing and you don't even realize you're doing it. As you're saying, like a lot, some groups of people, not all of them. Like I've been joking how like a lot of feminists are like smart, but it's not the ones that are on TV. It's like sports fans. A lot of sports fans are really smart, but not the ones that call in (laughs) sports talk radio. (laughs) That's perfect. You know what I mean? Yes. It's it's like when we, when we would do the Opie and Anthony show. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, or like Howard Stern, like when he would do back in the day when he would do live remotes. I love Howard Stern. I love Opie and Anthony. But like if I was a fan of this show, I don't have time and I'm not going to some fucking mall <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the day blowing off work or whatever the because I'm trying to get my own shit going. The people that show up, you love them because they're diehards, mm-hmm. but they're out of their fucking minds. So um, it just has to do with that. I'm kind of... Um, it doesn't necessarily have to do with me, but it does. It's one of one of those things. And it's also another way of saying that I'm full of shit. And, yeah, you know, you're a paper tiger. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So. 